This is the besotted pride of West London podcast. There's the final whistle here at New Griffith Park. Redford three, Burnley nil. And the game was never in doubt. Disallowed goals. Brentford always dominant in this game. And hey Jude. To be honest with you, like I said to you, only one game we won so far this season. Quite a few draws. A lot of people were very nervous about our position. But if you have to think about it, there's two teams probably already gone in this division. The third place, we've just played Burnley, who are competing for that third place, and we were 100% clear. Absolutely TV tremendous result. What a great result. And I think it's made a lot of people very, very, very comfortable. What result? Great game. Well done. We've got our bees back. No, it was real zip and drive and mojo in that performance today. Uh, Burnley, I know the company tries to make them play a certain way, but it doesn't work for them playing out from the back. Mope was an absolute terrier. Uh, Norgard had one of his better games in midfield. And it was just great to see all over the pitch. And what two absolute belters of goals. What finishes. Unbelievable. 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 Listen, what a result, eh? What a result. What a Listen, result. We, we needed that. We did. I mean, again, you know me, I don't get nervous. There's a lot of people getting nervous. Yeah. But it just goes to show you, when we're playing teams, certain teams who are maybe in certain positions, yep. we can deliver. We should have beaten Forest. We, we should you know, have. We should have beaten all these other teams. But yeah. listen, but we've, we've, we've done this a lot good and proper, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I mean, uh, they, I'm not sure how many shots they had, but we must have had about 25. And the, their player with the most touches has got to be their goalkeeper. I'm not saying they were good touches either. <laughs> good, two good saves to be fair though. He, uh, in the first half, had a couple of good reflex saves, a couple of balls across the box he dealt well with. But over, overall, we just overran them in every area of the pitch. We overran them and, and, and it was looking, you know, early on in the days, we had a goal disallowed. VAR. Some people might say it might be a little bit of luck, we don't know, but it was overruled for VAR. But that was just kind of the writing on the wall, wasn't it? It was very much so. I thought uh, uh, Jensen and Norgard in the back, uh, in the middle rather, were imperious, completely run the midfield. They had a few runners, but they couldn't get past our defence. I thought we, we uh, Mopé was fantastic today, running around all over the place. Uh, as you say, that disallowed goal uh, was a shame because I thought it was really, uh, really, really well played by him. And uh, yeah, uh, I mean, you can hear us uh, celebrating like we won the Champions League. <laughs> we are celebrating like we won the Champions League. Good result today, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, my reaction really is to and let's now breathe. That will have given the squad and the team so much confidence going forward as we move on to Chelsea next week. You know, there are still some bits we need to tidy up on. I thought Onyeke gave the ball away a couple of times in some dangerous positions. But unfair to really single out any one person as I've just done. Overall... We've, we've got a good result against a very poor Burnley team, though, so I worry for them for this the rest of the season. But we move on, we go on, and hey-ho up the bees! You bees, you bees. And we've got the Burnley, the Burnley team are, are running a little relay race in front of us, actually. It's like a, it, it's meant to be the half-time entertainment. It's come a little bit late. Come a little bit late. But anyway, great result in the end. Never in doubt, was it? No. <laughs> I no, never in doubt if it was a normal sort of season and a normal game, but um, this season that kind of felt like it was it was quite in doubt. And I was more than happy when the third went in. I just felt like it was. Um, I thought we played really well, and um, and we just like came through it in the end. And and we sort of didn't make the mistakes we made in previous games. I don't think we've been that bad this season, but we've just made mistakes at the wrong time things have gone against us the way the ref was today i thought things could have gone a bit against us but i think the real move today yet out left back i think that made a big difference it really gave us some solidity in the back four and then it's the first time we've heard this this season isn't it i think it's the first time this season first time for this yeah yeah, yeah first time we heard this first first win at home yeah absolutely oh, yeah gosh. so let's enjoy it first time this season um only one other away win against fulham which is big and um you know, this is um, celebrating a win against Burnley. It doesn't seem quite right, <laughs> but right. I'll, I'll take it. They're celebrating like we won the I'll European Cup, are not we? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Easy life, easy life. What a result! What a result, and what a performance! Uh, defensive, so, uh, defensively solid. All okay, game, we look great going forward. Hell of a performance from Mbumo. Hell of a performance from everyone. You got to take it. Uh, I thought they looked solid going forward, especially in the first half on the counter, 
Uh, are we defending well? Hold on a minute! Stop! La 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 We have to do this! We haven't done this all season! Bouncing! Bouncing! There we go! Boo! You red! Go on, you red! Sorry, we got to enjoy the moment as well! You've got to, you've got to! That's right! Here we go! I'm gonna come back to him, the scary man, the scary man! Who's in the junior scary as it is? The players are walking in front of us now. They're enjoying it. The fans are enjoying it. There's clapping going on. The Burnley fans on the left, they're not very happy. But that doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, it's what we feel. Thomas Banks down in front of us there. He's wet. You can see him. He's absolutely drenched. He looks more, but he's loving it. He's loving it. No one cares. And Yanel's got no clothes on at the moment now. He's got all sorts of all sorts of strappings going on around his midriff and everything like that. But it doesn't matter. Because the fact is that the bees are on fire. Weezer's on fire. Bounce. Weezer's on fire. Your defense is terrified. Weezer's on fire. Maui. Yes, there we go. Here we go. Look, look at them bouncing around as if, like they won the European Champions they League. They the European They can still win 100 games. <laughs> There we go. We're referring to the Burnley kick for flies. Bill Bird, Bill Bird, fair play to you. You Reds, you Reds. Let me come back to you. So you were saying? Yeah, I don't know what I was saying, but it was a great performance. Uh, going forward, I thought we looked excellent. I don't think we were really threatened at the back. Flecken only had to make one half decent table game. Uh, so yeah, we'll take it. Three points. Come on, you bees. You bees, you bees. Talk to me about that game. You loving it. You were loving it, loving it, loving it. I you? love it, love it, love it. But I'm wet and I want to go home for a point. About time we got the three points. Truly deserved it. You bees. You bees, you bees. You bees. Right, You're feeling that win, the win. You're feeling oh, the win. Yes, the win's a win, isn't it? Yes, the win's a win. That's right. right. Neutral man, this is your first game. First visit to New Griffin Park, as we call it. You bees. What's the vibes? You loving it? You loving it? Loving I'm, it? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. What an experience. I'll be coming back. <laughs> what about the game? Talk to me about this game because you came inside here. Fred for Burnley. I know that Burnley are struggling a little bit this season, but at the end of the day, you can only play who's put in front of you today. Oh, yeah. Brentford put up a play the fairly decent game, I'd say, didn't they? Oh, yeah, well, let's not get it wrong. Burnley are a good side. They play some good football, but Brentford were the better side today. They kept them at bay. Burnley didn't lay a glove. I thought we should have finished them off in the first half, but we did a good job in the second half to make sure of that. A couple of great goals as well. I don't know what one was better in Burma or Gados, but yeah, what a treat. What, what the atmosphere in the stadium here? I mean, a lot of people, you know, I think they're quite jealous. They kind of give us a little bit of slating. They talk about the size, it's too small and all this kind of stuff, but I think it's perfect. It's brilliant. Uh, always bouncing. Um, yeah, you think there's 100,000 in here is that loud. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, what a stadium. 100,000 bees in the house, you know what I'm saying? 100,000. Listen, we're going to be making our way down back to uh, back to the pub, actually. Give us a chat. Talk to me about that game. Talk to me about that game. It's the best we've played all season. You think so? Brilliant performance. Controlled the ball. They never looked like they were going to score. Bar that one chance in the second half. It's the best we've played all season. Okay. They... And, what, and why do you think that is? Neil up top. Someone who can hold the ball up, suit the wingers better. It's a brilliant performance. Button. Yeah. So you, I mean, you're happy B now because like, listen, 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 there's a lot of trepidation this season. Button. People say about going down and all that, but that's not that's not the case, is it? Uh, we have the, the injuries we have is why, and even with that, we played brilliant today. So you bees, yeah, you mean? Yes. Well yes, 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 yes. You oh, saw me at so, I'm Wembley. So, I was, oh yeah, that's so right. Proud I didn't even say it. I'm so proud of you, Vinny. Okay, I'm so proud. I was of you. in the royal. Okay, I was in the royal box. I was invited <laughs> in the royal box the other day. I was getting, I was getting a little stick of it because all my mates who were down in behind the goal, but I got invited to the royal box. Uh, by and the you FA. deserved it as well, yeah. by the way. You've done so much for football, that's, that's so much it. for Brentford. Congratulations, yeah. Billy, to you. That was my, that was for the Barnet Panthers stuff that I was doing as well, though. So yeah. it was a different running, but it's all good. But um, yeah. That's wicked. But yeah, but other than that, let's bring it back to here because it wasn't about the Royal Box. This is about the Royal Reception that this lot gave Burnley today. That was a right Royal Reception, wasn't it? Oh, yes, it was. It really was. It really was. Can I be honest with you? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's happy. Um, 
a little bit worried about today. I was. You're worried? We, uh, You're a warrior. You are a warrior. I'm a warrior. I am a warrior. A warrior. Uh, not a warrior. Not a, a warrior. Not a warrior. A warrior. I, I worry. You ain't no right. warrior, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Steady on. <laughs> Mr. Man in the Royal Box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, we needed a win today and we got it. Yeah. Enough said. And how they how they went about it? Were you happy with that? My God, it was a, it was a, it was a clinical and surgical tearing down of the opposition there today. It was really nice. Good to see. Good to see. A couple of tappings apparently, weren't they? A couple of tappings. That's all about the positions that you get yourself into to get those tappings, is it not? <laughs> <laughs> Benny, big love. Love you so much. All yeah. the best. Congratulations to Game Easy well life. Done. Easy life. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, come on, you bees! Yes, I'm you a potty for it. I saw you bouncing around yeah, there. No, definitely. I'll tell you, around. Did you expect us to score three goals today? Um, no, no, probably <laughs> not. No, let's be honest. I'm, I'm trying to be positive, but yeah, I mean, it's a tricky, it's a tricky game, and and I think the good thing about today was we were quite nerveless. Yes, we didn't, we didn't look like it was a. So maybe it's just the fans who think it's like a nine pointer. Maybe it is, you know. Maybe some of the fans, some of the fans as well, like you say. There's Harry, there's Harry the Potter, the Potter's in the house. The Potter is here, but I'm saying. A few words, I just, just want to say, I thought Frank Onyeka had his best game for us today. Vitali at left back, I mean, it's not easy slotting in somewhere that you don't normally play, I thought he was superb. And that I thought Neil Morpé in two or three games, I mean, he, he set up one of the goals today, he made a nuisance of himself. Um, and he just, he's, yeah, he should have done probably, but he's just going to get sharper, isn't he? You know, and, and when he gets that first goal, he'll, you know, his link-up play was good. Um, and I, th I thought the young lad Yamalia, I really mean, he's superb. Honestly, he's going to yeah, yeah. go. He's going, yeah. isn't he? He's going. Going where? He's going to go, mate. Gold back go. of the net, you know, go. not go, no. not leave us. But he nearly, I mean, he's going to take off. Have, he's quick and he's bright and he's intelligent. And yeah. I just thought, and yeah. Have you seen his ball? If you go look, if you ever look back at when he first signed for us, got these videos online about his ball skills. Right. He's got some proper, yeah. incredible ball yeah. skill as well. So he's Matty, Matty Jensen too, then. <laughs> you know, hey, put, put, put pressure on Jensen in there as well. That's what you need, isn't it? But yeah, certainly much needed three points and I, th I thought we played well and as I say I thought we were quite nerveless which is good you know they they we were easily the better side but just a little bit of sloppiness second half at the back a better side would have punished that so but that's me being ultra critical I don't care because I'm gonna have a bottle of wine tonight it was my birthday yesterday so oh, happy, nice, birthday. Nice, happy birthday nice happy birthday Mr Jim points. Lebeck happy yeah. birthday yeah which is all good good you bees Carl you bees you bees yeah so listen we got we got we, yeah, listen, neighbours, we've got characters, we've got the low and tail posse in the house. Listen, the full Monty, we've got the full Monty Soka massive in the place as well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, James, let's talk, let's all, yeah, so we're on, so it's on, first game, so let's talk. Talk to us, talk to us about the game. It's nice to see us win. It was eight years ago since I've been to a home game and okay, seen but us you, win. But you've not been in the stadium, what's the vibes? It's, I love it, it's great. It just feels like Ealing Road, like, same as usual, you know? Okay, and then the game, talk about the bees. Oh, we did the job. We, we we didn't waste chances in the first half. We just were a bit unlucky and then finished it up. Did what we needed to do. Took the chances and then got us. Got that nice goal at the end. So, yeah. Nice, nice goal at the end as well, which is all good. Like I said to you, it's the massive, the, the low and tail massive in the place to be, as they say. Right. Safe journey home, everybody. All right. See you later. Yeah, two, 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 two goal a month candidates. Yeah, two got to get month. something. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We'll just we'll just sign them off now. Yeah. Just they, there's a tie. Big result here, back in the boozer, back in the globe. And uh, it's actually quite mellow in the globe. Here. We've got the Arsenal game on, characters are watching it. And it's almost like they're thinking, we got to win. We walked out in a storm and we might need to just go home, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not going home, I'm well happy. Three, three points, much needed. I was, I was a little bit worried because I thought, you know, I, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not being negative. I'm just saying, look, you know, if you look at the Everton game, you look at the first half of the Arsenal game, you look at that last 10 minutes at Old Trafford, which literally like destroyed me. I was a little bit worried. But you know what? Today, we were, we were strong. We were solid. We, we, looked, we looked positive. First 10 minutes of the second half, I was a little bit kind of sh little bit shaky. Burnley keeper, I thought, made some amazing saves. Um, Brian's goal was fantastic. And I'll tell you what... And describe Brian's goal, because you were behind the goal. You know, I, was over, I was over to that side, but it was, he'd gone down injured. He got kind of taken out. And no one, you know, no one stopped play. Kind of annoyed with the, annoyed with the rest that that didn't happen. And then like 
two minutes later, he gets up and he just scores a, a world world goal. With uh, the same foot as well, wasn't it? Same foot. And then, like, then the players come over to the corner and they're rubbing his knees to say, uh, yeah, you did, it. you did all right, mate, considering you just got injured. Um, he wasn't faking injury. I mean, he genuinely was. I thought, oh, no, don't get injured as well. You can't be, you can't be injured as well. We can't lose you now. But yeah, great goal for him. And then Godos. The really interesting, I actually turned around and said to my mate that, um, like, Godos, the last time we played Burnley, yeah. Um, Godos came on and scored a goal. The goal. Um, and I was like, can you imagine him coming? And then he come on and he's and, and everyone went shoot. And he, I think he thought, you know what? I'm gonna shoot. I think the fans let, made Godos score that goal. It was amazing, and fantastic. It's, it's a wicked goal as well, wasn't it? It was. It, well, honestly, I was buzzing, absolutely buzzing. Everyone was buzzing. It's a great atmosphere. Three points. Everyone's happy. Bring on a Chelsea next week. Still here in the Globe, and they're all oh, the Arsenal uh, losing 2 0 to Chelsea, which is, uh, oh dear, because oh, the Mudrick is at the Mudrick as well. Yeah, he should have should have stayed at the Brentford, but he didn't stay at the Brentford because he never actually came to the Brentford at all. So the Arsenal is not looking good for the Arse at the moment now, uh, and uh, hopefully, this uh, Chelsea are going to be scoring all their goals against Arsenal uh, today, and they'll be scoring zero goals <laughs> next week when they play us <laughs> but let's forget about today and let's forget about Arsenal forget them no, let's just come back to the Burnley Brentford game the Brentford Burnley game today that was a tremendous result wasn't it it was a great result absolutely brilliant we played really good football I thought you know nice interchange it was like the old bonds are sort of growing back again with the Mo playing and, and, and Bremo but well, it was really good I really enjoyed it um, I thought having a third striker, well it, more play sort of relieved a lot of pressure for the back but well our back half and it you know it was good it was pressing made a bit of a difference hopefully going forward might make a bit you know it, 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 it give us better fortunes going forward and, 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 and interesting I mean obviously uh, we, we saw a scenario where uh, we, we, we got um, uh, um, Mbumo he got hacked and he was he was in all sorts of yeah. trouble wasn't he yeah, it was a great goal absolutely fantastic well, I love the layoff moment well, oh. same before that when he got hacked and he was on the floor and oh, we thought we thought yeah, he was yeah. going to get stretched off well, I thought oh, if we, how hard went around we were I, we were thinking of the worst at the moment but uh, thankfully he got up washed his leg off we saw the side got a bit of water sprayed it off but he came on what a finish absolutely cracking finish you know, he doesn't normally normally put him top bins on Z but that was that was good that was real quality and if Goddard scores we're on the pitch if Goddard scores on the pitch but what I noticed is that no one actually got on the pitch when Goddard scored true uh, that's a good point yeah yeah well it is a cracking strike do we fair that's a bit out of a it's a bit different from what we normally do yeah. like for example we would have he would have recycled the ball played it wide out wide but this time took it had the time took his time and actually scored a great goal and to be fair I mean, again Godos was meant to be he was meant to be the new Malpe and we signed him we was meant to sign him at the time of the new Malpe it didn't quite happen it happened a year later but by that stage we'd actually got Ollie Watkins to transfer from a winger to a striker Right, and so the, and then the Godos came in, and we were thinking, oh, this is Godos who is going to be this great striker. But I think Godos, his football intelligence is brilliant. Yeah. Look where he's playing; he's playing holding at the, uh, at the time. But he can play left back, right back, top, uh, either either side of the uh, of the front three. He's a really like football intelligence is brilliant. He's actually a very good player. I'm, I'm surprised that we actually let him go initially, but made the right decision eventually and brought him back. Yeah, we had uh, to. Yeah, we had to. We had, he's the football is brilliant. He's a great football player. He can't be it. So. Yeah, hopefully, uh, future, well, hopefully Chelsea next week, we'll do the business again. You bees. You bees. So we go in the globe. It's lovely to see happy characters. Happy characters. First home win of the season, second win of the season, first win since the second game of the season. So it's been a while, but I like I said to you, and you know me, like I said to you, I'm a glass half full man. No pressure as far as I'm concerned. I know a few people are nervous and I say fair play to you and I do respect and tip me at and say to you, you know, if the nerves are there, but and I said to you, I'll keep going back to you and say, let's be strategic and thinking about this. The two teams gone. There's only one space left pretty much. And at the end of the day, is Brentford going to be in that space? I've said there's absolutely no chance whatsoever. And I think today showed that we ain't anywhere near that third relegation spot. No, absolutely no chance. Um, you know, I, I was saying, you know, we've had a, had a couple of pints after the game. It's just like lovely to come back to the pub and um, and speak to people when there's a kind of like a different vibe going on. You know, we, we, I don't think any of us are like really panicky, but it's just been a. It seems a long time since we won, and uh, you know, also it's quite funny lis- listening back at the end of last season. We we're going, I reckon they ought to change up that old, you know, free from desire, the old gala track. You know, we we probably ought to. 
find another track to do after the game when we've won. And then it's been so long since we've heard it, we just couldn't wait to hear it today. It was like, please play Carla. I just want to hear. I was just like wishing the last 10 minutes down. You know, I'm glad. I thought, um, I thought we gave them a couple of chances or a bit of a sniff at 2 0 up, which is a little bit of a concern. You know, the game was dead at 2 0, um, and we, we gave them a couple of chances. They, they could have scored at least one, they missed an open goal. Um, and then there was a, there was another couple of chances that, um, that went begging, um, and then you know obviously uh, I'm a bit disappointed, Bill, with the fans that said um, if Godos scores were on the pitch because he he did and they didn't go on the pitch. That's what we said. I so, that. so liars, yeah, liars, liars, absolute liars, liars Bill, cheats. liars and cheats. <laughs> but but yeah, no, t- three three brilliant. Just go back to that. So the question I'm going to ask is obviously the original. So do you think that if Tamani had scored, we would have gone on the pitch? Probably these liars wouldn't have done it, no. Uh, there's liars there as well. Yeah. I, I actually think if Tamani scored, we would have gone on the pitch, which means that there's been a major shift in, 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 in the feel of, of, of our fan base. From the Elian Roads to, 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 to the West End, yeah. I, it's a different vibe. But, no, three brilliant goals today. The, I, you know... I want to see the disallow Morpay goal. Collins offside. I'd like to see that again. Um, let's be honest, Morpay missed a one-on-one. Um, he, he had three or four chances. I'm not going to. I'm not going to diss him because I thought he contributed hugely. The new BMW Mark II, the Morpay, the the um, the you know just the, he really fitted in with that three up front and uh, I thought they looked like they used this two weeks really well trained and got got on the same wavelength he, he's, he's a Brentford player again now um, so yeah the first goal was lovely the second goal was beautiful and um, you know the Godos goal was, was a stunner as well so yeah a lot, a lot to be lot to be happy about tonight Bill and it's just like it's just nice to kind of have that have that monkey lifted off your back a little bit because it was just turning a little bit aggy um, and it always does you know a couple of couple of three defeats and you know people that feel a little bit entitled um, they, um, they, uh, they they get they get a bit kind of like why aren't Brentford winning every week but you know it, it, it underlying we're a good team um, but we, we it's, a, it's a massive January still we, we have to spend some money we've got to spend some money and there's lots of people spending money in the globe here tonight as well this is the besotted pride of west london podcast don't forget to buy us a beer besotted.com forward slash beer thank you to everyone that's bought us a beer also don't forget to listen to our 1000th and also our 1000th plus one podcast very funny very interesting going back to going back in history to basically when brentford started in the championship Basically, when we lost in the playoffs, Warburton here, we've got Warburton on there, we've got, we've got Thomas Frank on there, we've got Robert Rowan on there, we've got loads of fans on there. We were also talking about the pandemic when we used to record podcasts in the pandemic and listen to the fans then, beating Bournemouth in the playoffs semi-final, beating Arsenal. We, oh, mate, mate, you've got to listen to the thousandth and the thousandth plus one podcast because it's really, really interesting and it'll really take you back to an era. And if you weren't there... It's going to be, if you know your history, it's going to give you some history. But like I said to you, thank you very much for listening. My name is Billy the B. Grant. We're going to be back here before the Chelsea game next week. But like I said to you... Come on!